Hey guys, Matt here with Bleepin' Jeep. Rob here at Quadratech.com. What's going on guys? It's Ben from JK Gear and Gadget. Hey guys, we are Crawl TV. Hey everyone, CPO here from O3D Jeep. What's up guys, Bearded Jeeper here. Hey, how's it going guys? Copperhead over here. Last year, the Super Soldier was my favorite Jeep of 2017. But just look at these guys. What's going on, my friend? This is Marlon from Off Road and Chill, and this is the best of the best. As many of you know, last year on December, we introduced the Best Jeep of the Year Awards. And on this video, I'm going to let my other Jeep YouTuber friends tell you what was their favorite Jeep of 2018. So I hope you enjoyed this video. My favorite build of 2018 was a Comanche that was in the Bullet Liners booth at SEMA built by Off The Grid Motorsports featuring the Bleep and Jeep hood pins. I could tell you about it, but let's just roll to the video. Tim, what are we looking at? This is my second year at SEMA. First year, my favorite rig is probably JCR's Comanche. We just came up on this one a couple minutes ago. Second year in a row, Comanche. For sure. <laughs> Coolest rig at SEMA. He's awesome. And tell us who's, uh, whose hood pens, pens are those? Sleeping Jeep. Oh, yeah. Check out the Warren hubs. These are, I believe these are Warren Super Duty hubs with four Super Duty yeah. axles. Nice. These are high quality. They really look nice in there with those wheels all black. Yeah. Everything's blacked out. So black black bed liner. Uh, Let's see. Yeah. So it looks like it's got a Yukon air locker, it looks like. It's got the air conditioning mounted. It's an LS. It has the Novak radiator. Oh, the Novak is in there? Yeah, the Novak radiator is in there. I like the way they kept the air conditioning in there, you know? It's got the newer 97 and up uh, exterior and, and interior. interior. And it's got these uh, rigid side lights, PRP steering wheel, and seats. Interior cage. Interior roll cage. Very simple and clean. It's got uh, some sort of Alpine stereo. Got the newer dash. That's a low car shifter. Low car shifter? Yeah. yeah. So, what a. Got a moto built Can you tell what kind of transmission is in here by looking at it? He's going under to take a look. Fuel cell, power tank, king shocks, domatic, fridge. Look at that. What is that? A 14 bolt, I'm pretty sure. Four link rear. Big brakes. Not a turbo 350, but I couldn't tell if it was a 400 or a 4L8. Alright guys, what do you think? Did you like that Jeep as much as I do? Let me know down in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, Bleepin' Jeep. Thanks guys. Hey Marlon and all of the Off-Road and Chill subscribers over there. Rob here at Quadratech.com. I want to start out by saying thank you so much for inviting us to be part of your year-end review video again. I am honored to be included in this video along with the other great YouTube content creators out there. Now, 2018 has been a fantastic year, I think, for all of us in the Jeep community. Of course, we have the arrival of the Jeep Wrangler JL and the fantastic new Wrangler platform. So I want to invite you and all of your subscribers to make sure you head over to youtube.com slash quadratech and hit that subscribe button for our YouTube channel. Of course, we've got all of the latest and greatest product reviews for you guys, but that's not all. We've also got DIY videos, how-to videos, install videos, plenty more for you focused around that all-new Jeep Wrangler JL, but that's not all. We're not going to forget about you guys with the older Jeep Wrangler JKs, the TJs, of course, the XJ guys, and all the way back to the CJ guys. So you definitely hit that subscribe button. Now, 2019 is shaping up to be a pretty exciting year for us here over at Quadratech. You may be wondering what's behind this video studio sign here. Well, we've got some big things in the works here at Quadratech. I'll give you guys a little sneak peek here, never before seen anywhere else. We've got some construction going on here at Quadratech. We've got some big things in the work for next year, so you wanna make sure you stay tuned for that. 
Now onto the topic at hand, my favorite Jeep build of the year, well, has to be none other than, oh, this little guy right here, the Jeep Gladiator pickup truck. Of course, this is just the, the little Gladiator concept that came out way back in like 05, 06. Along with a lot of other people out there, I think I was highly anticipating the arrival of the pickup truck. Could not wait to see the release out in LA just a few short weeks ago and uh, blown away by the truck in person. I love some of the features that Jeep has incorporated in the interior, some of the creative ways they built in some storage, and some of the features they've even built into the bed of the pickup truck were really fantastic. But what I'm really excited to see, of course, is the arrival of the Gladiator on the dealership lots and then just what the aftermarket has in store for this fantastic new pickup truck. So definitely make sure you guys head over to youtube.com slash quadratech, hit that subscribe button, head over to the website as well, quadratech.com. Until next time, guys, I'm Rob. I'll see you out on the trail and happy new year to all of you out there. Off-Road and Chill asked me to help out in this video and talk about my most favorite Jeep of 2018. Um, it's actually a lot harder than I thought it was going to be. Uh, it took me a couple days, you know, to really think about it. I'm like, man, what Jeep is worthy enough for me to talk to you guys about? Um, but first off, like I said, I am Ben from JK Gear and Gadgets. Check out my channel. As you can see, I got my Jeep behind me. Also have an XJ and an LJ, um, and do all types of Jeep videos, installs, reviews, and just basic off-road knowledge and off-road videos. So check out the channel. Hopefully you'll subscribe, do all kinds of fun Jeep stuff. But let's get back on topic. Um, my most favorite Jeep build of 2018 is actually not a JK, um, it's a JL. <laughs> There's a lot of awesome Jeep builds and it was really hard to decide one. But being that, you know, my top most favorite Jeep build, it has to be unique, it has to be new, it has to be something that really nobody really has done before. And in my case, that Jeep is the JL built by Lauren Healy. Um, if you're not familiar with who he is, he's a uh, Ultra 4 racer, um, you know, he's done all types of cool builds. But the first built JL I saw was actually at Jeep Beach by Lauren Healy. But it is an awesome Jeep. It's purpose built, um, and I just think it's a really clean look. Um, it's also awesome that Lauren built, um, you know, one of the first JLs outside of the box. You know, he didn't just slap a lift kit and tires on it. He did, he went all out coilovers, custom suspension, axles, um, pretty much everything. And you got to think guys, you know, there's not much info online about how to build JLs. There's no, you know, when he built this, there weren't YouTube videos or forums telling you how to do it. And that's what I, you know, I'm really big into is, uh, you know, spending the time behind the wrench and getting the passion behind the build. And it was just really clear on this JL build that, uh, you know, he took the time, skill and really made an awesome Jeep. So, that is my most favorite Jeep of the year, and that's kind of what makes me want to get a JL, to be honest. I think it's a perfect, you know, beautiful Jeep, and I'd love to have a JL and build it like that, but, you know, personally, I like to wait a couple year models before I get it. But, that's it, guys. Check out his build, uh, Lauren Healy. He's on Instagram, and you've probably seen the YouTube video uh, called Milk Run. I think it's Milk Run Lauren Healy, and it's the one where he takes his, uh, you know, his, uh, little ultra four rig and goes and buys milk it's a pretty funny video you should check it out after you watch this but thanks for watching and uh thanks for off-road and chill for letting me come on your uh your channel and help out see you guys hey guys we are crawl tv and we've partnered with off-road and chill to bring you the 2018 most memorable jeeps of the year yes last year we did jeepster mcjeep face we this year we're bringing you a new one a uh, little teaser so this is a jcr build it started out as their budget jo it is the rapist jail. <laughs> no, that can't be right. No. Therapist. Therapi therapist. Therapist JL. JL. All right, so I put a lot of thought into this name, and you know, I can't afford a therapist, but like off-roading is like my therapy. <laughs> if you guys didn't catch that little bit and you're still not familiar, the build that we loved most in 2018 is the, the Golden, Golden Bandit. Bandit. I actually picked this shirt up from Corey when we were visiting the JCR booth at SEMA. Jarrett also got a shirt, but he decided to play the barter game and wound up with a half-used pack of zip ties. But my walkaway prize from SEMA was definitely not the Golden Bandit, which was what I was trying to barter to. 
Didn't but happen. I did get it's a nothing. cool Terraflex money clip, so. I guess we both win. We both win out of that one. We do. And speaking of Terraflex, yes. that is one of the main features on the Golden Bandit. The Golden Bandit has golden JL Terra full float 60s on it with Falcon shocks and a whole myriad of JCR armor, including their Crusader midwidth front bumper, their rear bumper, their new JL fenders, inner fenders that work with the Falcon shocks, and their transfer case skid plate. They do, as well as a whole bunch of other modifications on there. They've got Adams drive shafts. They have a worn Xeon 8 winch. They've got HID projector headlights, which are really cool because they actually have the golden eagle etched into them. It's Well, it's kind of a mix between the golden eagle and the firebird. It's their golden yeah. bandit logo. Just trying to piss everybody off. <laughs> Good job, JCR. <laughs> Sticking with your true colors, which is why we love them. Yes. It's a really awesome build, so take a look at a couple shots that they got from the SEMA show this year. Seat covers from our friends at Bartac, AFE Momentum GT intake, our new jail half doors. So clean. So if you can't tell by now, <laughs> that is why we love this Jeep so very much. Also, um, we're running the JCR Dagger front stubby bumper, and Jared's standing in front of the logo, but we've got it here on the Jeep, and you gotta promo the products that you love. We're always gonna pick our friends. We are. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed this and all the other Jeeps that I'm sure you're gonna see on this video. Please go subscribe to the Crawl TV channel if you're watching this on Off-Road and Chill. <laughs> Follow us, we post weekly, and it's always good stuff. That wraps it up for our favorite Jeep of 2018. Thanks for watching. Crawl, Crawl TV. TV. Peace out. Hey everyone, CPO here from O3D Jeep, and I'm gonna tell you my favorite Jeep build of 2018. Hmm. Boy, that's tough. What's my favorite Jeep? Ooh really hard. Let me let me think about that. The one I like the most of all the other Jeeps in the world. No, I'm just messing with you. So my favorite build of 2018 has to be hands down the bulletproof TJ. I actually saw this Jeep in a video actually by Offroad and Chill showing off his favorite builds of the SEMA show. I didn't make it out to SEMA, but I did watch a lot of footage from that. And one Jeep kept catching my eye every time I saw it. It's just this this TJ is so clean. I know everybody else is doing these, you know, JL builds. 2018 is the year of the JL, but uh, I went the other direction. I went TJ. Uh, so let me tell you what I know about this Jeep. Sorry, I gotta feed this monster. Isn't it crazy? You don't even have to use a credit card anymore to uh, get gas. You just use an app, pay for fuel. Welcome to the future. All right, so I was on a pretty short time crunch to uh, get this video up for Off-Road and Chill. Damn you, Off-Road and Chill and your unreasonable timelines. So anyway, I started stalking the Bulletproof TJ Instagram feed and going through and looking to see if I could figure out who owns this thing so I could contact them. And hey, pro tip, if you're gonna show off your build and you want some publicity, put your Instagram name on your Jeep. That was so awesome, it made it very easy. Uh, so anyway, I ended up um, tracking these guys down, but I couldn't really connect quick enough to get more information. So uh, what I'm going to tell you about this Jeep is basically from me stalking the Instagram page. So go check out Bulletproof TJ on Instagram, and you'll see all the same stuff I know. All I know is this thing is awesome, and I know you're going to see more of it in the very near future. So uh, let's talk about the Jeep. Let me go you know, finish this. All right, so here's what I know about this thing. And I don't know a lot, but I tried to get as much info as I could. I think it's a 2002 Sport, uh, just a straight up TJ Sport. They stretched it 6.5 inches in the rear and four inches in the front. It's got Genrite all in it. Like it's Genrite guts through and through. Suspension parts, the fuel tank is a Genrite 23 gallon crawler tank. It's got Curry Rock Jocks um, front and rear, Dana 60 in the front, Dana 70 in the rear, all full float, 70 inch. Uh, it's got a Rido lined interior. It's got a custom fastback cage. It's got a cliff ride hood. It's running a full PSC hydro setup. It's running PRP seats. It's got the American Fastbacks recon top for the TJ. Kind of looks like a JK top. 
It's got a double triangulated four link suspension, running Curry Johnny joints on all ends. For the engine, it's a six liter LS. It's running a GM 4L80 transmission. Originally had an NP241 transfer case, but I know that they just recently got an Atlas for it. So it's running the Atlas transfer case. For tires, Toyo 40s. Uh, I know that they were talking about putting 42s on it, but had to wait for those. So I think for SEMA, it ended up having 40s. I don't know for sure if it got the 42s in or not. It's got the King 14 inch coilovers. And yeah, it's got a lot of badass in it. So anyway, guys, that's it. That is my favorite build of 2018. I know it's a little unusual to not pick a JL build in 2018, but hey, sometimes you got to rock the old school. Anyway, guys, that's it. Go check out my channel, O3D Jeeps. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you on the next one. Of 2018. I can't wait to see what 2019 has to offer. So, as always, guys, stay bearded, stay jeeping. I'm out. So, Overroad and Chill asked me what is my favorite Jeep build for the 2018. I have to say that will be the Rebel Off Road JL. Compared to last year's JK, the command vehicle, they look pretty similar, but they are very different. On the JL, it's a brand new platform that hasn't been out for that long, and they were able to get a, a, a lot of good parts. They got the Curry Enterprises Rock Jock 70s all around, matched with Alcon uh, brakes, which those are the Sitz Pistons. You need those brakes once you put 42 inch tires, which they have the Matsys Trepidors matched with some beat locks. They have some pretty nice trail doors uh, by JCR Off Road, and they look really good and complete the kit with the KC lights and the roof rack that is by uh, Rebel Off Road. They have a coilover system with 12 inches in the front, 14 inches on the rear. So this is a vehicle that you can take money, you can take rock crawling, just do trail riding, go downtown, anywhere you're going to take it, and it's going to be a good looking Jeep. It's going to perform like it was supposed to, right? So this is the Jeep that I use as an inspiration for my build, which I'm trying to get it to that point, 40 inches or 42 inch tires, uh, coilovers eventually. But yeah, definitely that is my favorite build for the 2018. Uh, let me know what is yours. Go ahead and check out my channel at copperhead underscore jk, the same for Instagram. So I do hope you guys have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Be safe out there and hopefully next year's you have a lot of good parts, a lot of wheeling and you don't break nothing that important. But till the next time guys, take care. Well my friends, now it's my time. Um, my favorite dips and you're going to hate me for this is a JL. I know, JL of course. So my favorite Jeep of 2018 is going to be the Black Ops JL.
but let me just show you why. First, let me say that they were the first people putting 49 inch tires on a JL. So they had to get creative with this build because they couldn't get inspiration from any other JL on 49s. And they did an awesome job trimming just a little bit of the front and rear fenders so they could make those tiny little 49 inch tires fit properly. And one little detail that I love about it was that they added JK hood latches. And I have seen many people putting JL latches on JKs and JK Gear and Gadget have a really nice video about it. But they went old school by putting JK hood latches on this JL and that's one of the reasons why I love this build and I hope you also like it. Well guys I hope you really like this video and um, today I'm not going to ask you to subscribe to my channel. Today I'm going to ask you to check and uh, subscribe to my friends channels. They do really nice videos about Jeep of course and just check them out their youtube channel link is going to be in the description below as always so this is everything for today guys see you in the next one